Hello everyone and welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today we're going to go over the difference between side view projects and top view projects. And while there is only a few differences between the views, there are a couple that are important to know, especially if you want a project that has side view and top view in it, or a project like a beat em up which has attributes of both. So with that said, let's get started. And I'm going to be in the sample tab here up top and we're going to create a top view project and we're going to use the top view fantasy materials for this and then I'm going to close out of here and real quickly going to create a side view project using the side view fantasy and now that we have both projects let's take a look at the first difference between both and that has to do with the gravity per scene so we can see that if we click on stage one which is the starting and we were to play test we can move and we can jump around and gravity is working. All right, and the reason gravity is working is if we right click and go to scene settings, scroll down to the very bottom, just like this, we can see that gravity air resistance settings right here, acceleration set to 9.8. So that is the gravity. If we were to change this to zero and click OK and play test, we can see that we can jump but now gravity never takes us back down. So we are constantly jumping at our jump speed and nothing will change that. So the significance about the side view versus the top view, let me change this back real quick, is that when you create a new scene, if we added a scene here and we can just leave this all default, you can see that it auto comes with 9.8 acceleration. It just automatically comes with gravity. So if we were to save this, and then close out and go to our top view. First, if we go to the stage one here, we can right click and click scene settings, scroll down to the bottom and you can see it's set to zero. And if we were to add a scene, we can see that it automatically assigns to zero. And if we clicked okay, that is how top view goes. Now the cool thing is, is that just like the side view where we went into scene settings and we changed it from 9.8 to 0 we can also change from 9.8 or from 0 to 9.8 on top view so if we were to go to our player object and let's say that when we walk we actually do a jump just to quickly test this and we hit play as soon as i try walking you can see that i'm jumping and i have gravity so here we are jumping. It's not very, it's not set up for it really, but this is how it's working. It's jumping. So this leads us to the next difference between side view and top view. And that is that top view projects have automatic Y sorting and side view does not. And so let's talk about Y sorting for a second. First off in your animations under the player, you have an origin, which is where the two red lines intersect. This is your origin. If you click on your list right here, you can click on one of these options to change that origin. On top view, it's very convenient to use floor so that your origin, the Y of this, this line is your Y. So you want your Y to be as close to the feet as possible so that your objects can adjust their display priority according to this Y intersect right here. Now, if that didn't make sense, let's just show an example on the scene. So if we have, say, this save point here, and let me make sure that the save point animation is floored, which it is, and this one is too, okay. So if we go onto the scene and we scroll down here, so if we were to find what layer this player is on, we go to objects and we add that save point somewhere next to the player. We can see that if we were to click on the player now, we can click on it. And if we go behind the save point, the player will be behind the save point. If we go in front of the save point, the player will be in front of it. All right. And if even if I just go in the middle here, if I start going up, as soon as the origin, remember the origin is this, you can kind of see it's a little red plus right here. That's the origin. As soon as that origin passes this origin, it pops out front. So that is how the auto Y sorting is working. 
and again this feature is only available in top down. Now side view is purely based off the display priority and one of the things that is important about Y sorting is that it has to be the same display priority. For instance if I was to move the character the player up to one and I was to move it you can see that auto Y sorting doesn't work anymore. So the player and this has to be this uh, other object has to be the same display priority. Once I change this display priority to one, now they can be in front. And this goes both ways. If I click on this and I go and move it around, it will do the same thing. So, so the cool thing about top view is you can act like side view, which is purely pr display priority based, like so. Or it can have the auto Y sorting if you have them on the same display priority and then it can adjust accordingly. Let's save this and let's close out and go to the side view. And let's go to stage one, find the layer that the player's on. And let's add a save point here. You can see the origins right here as well. And if we click on the player, the origins right here. So they also floored these side view characters. With side view projects, you can also get away with the center or the origin being in the center sometimes that is more beneficial so let's make sure the player is on layer zero let's say and the save point is on or display priority zero and the save points also display priority zero so now if we try to do the same thing that we did in top view you can see that it doesn't work and that is because it is purely side view projects are purely based off the display prior, priority number so this would have to be a one to be in front of it or a negative one to be behind it. And sometimes if you go to zero, for instance, I went from zero, I was at negative one and I went to zero, I might still go behind it, yep. So sometimes it depends on how you placed it. For instance, if I was to place another player and it's also zero and it goes in front of it, it's because I placed this one last. I place this and then I place this. So this will get priority even though they're both there's zero. And sometimes the engine will not be consistent with, for instance, if they're both zero, it will not be consistent with which one is displaying above or behind. So I would strongly recommend to always hard set your display priority what you need and you'll never have any issues. All right, so that covers the top view versus side view as far as display priority goes, which is probably the biggest difference between the engines. So if you are making a dual project, side and top view, you definitely wanna make a top view project. The reason being is so that when you're in top view mode, you have that auto Y sorting. You can always change gravity and you can always change jumping and stuff in a top view project, but you can't add auto Y sorting on a side view project. So that kind of solves that mystery of which one should you create if you want a dual project. All right, so now let's go to the last thing that we'll cover, which is going to be the player object. So we'll go to objects. And real quickly, the differences is in a side view project, when you go to add an object and you click to create a object controlled by input device, you'll see that it comes with a waiting, a walk, and a jump and you'll see that the jump's all set. Also, if we go to the moving and jumping tab, you will see that only the left and only the right arrows are assigned. So if you are wanting to have uh, press up on the ladder and stuff, you will have to assign the control keys here. And if we save this, close and go to a top view project in the objects tab, if we were to add an object controlled by input, we would see that we get one with waiting and walk just initially. And then if we go to the moving and jumping tab, we have all of the controllable arrows, inputs, control key settings. You'll see that all these other options are the same. If you're in side view, the only difference might be, and I'll check this real quick here, is the horizontal movement, the vertical movement are the same in top view. Let's save this and go back to side view. And if we go to our newly created object, we will see that the horizontal movement is different from the vertical movement. 
So if you are wanting, if you're doing for some reason a side view and has some top down elements, you would want to adjust the vertical movement to be something similar or however your project needs. So with that, that is it for this video. We saw the three main differences. We saw the difference in the scene settings for gravity, how in side view projects they're automatically, scenes automatically come with gravity, top view projects they don't, but you can add them or get rid of them on both. We saw number two, which is the auto Y sorting, which the auto Y sorting option is on in a top view project and it is off in a side view project and there is no adjusting that. Side view project is purely dependent on display priority and top view projects can also use that as well if you need it. So top view project we learned was the winner as far as if you have a dual project, which one to go, which one to start. And then the third thing we went over is just creating a controllable plate or object. Very simple, but there is just some differences between those two uh, projects. So I hope this video helped. Like, subscribe. Go to the Discord if you need some, some help or comment below, and we will see you at the next video.